Welcome to my long-awaited apartment tour. I am super excited to do this tour because this is something I've been wanting to do a while and kept putting off because I felt like things weren't exactly how I wanted. And I still feel like there's a few things that I probably could add to it, but I'm actually either going to save those for separate videos or I'm just going to do that later down the road. You all are probably going to see this apartment and say, girl, you do not need nothing else, but I'm going to show you all what I'm talking about. <laughs> So realistically my apartment was probably fit, fully furnished about two weeks in um, and I just didn't make the apartment tour because like I said things weren't exactly how I wanted it. So here we are at my apartment tour. It is May, no it's June now, it's June 1st um 2021 and like i said i've been here since september moved to houston um so if you all want to check out my empty apartment tour go ahead and check that out but without further ado we're going to go ahead and jump right into it okay so we're going to go ahead and start off here this of course is the front door i'm going to take you through this tour like how i did my empty apartment tour um, be sure to watch that one if you want to see basically the makeover. So like I said, we start here. This is my door and then we get to the hall. First you see the hall closet. So inside the closet is just hall closet stuff. So I have a Christmas tree. This is the cotton that I filled in my Christmas tree with. Um, decorations, like an extra lamp and some like cleaning supplies my swiffer my vacuum all that over here are my prints not my prints but my canvas diy canvas that i made so i'll probably put a link somewhere on the screen of how i made these but these were in my atlanta apartment tour so this is just two of them and then the other two are in my room so just some of my favorite pictures now we're going into the beauty room slash guest room slash extra closet so starting off you see a scale so this is a regular glass scale i didn't have anywhere else to put it and then we'll go straight to the guest bed so i'm gonna tell you where everything is in this entire video because i remember where everything is so let's jump right into it so this print is from decenio um, this is the largest size print. This is not the frame that you can get from Decenio. This frame is from Walmart. So I can put the links to both of those on there with how big it is. So you can see how big it is on the wall. Next, we have the guest bed. So I wanted this bed just in case my, um, family stays or my friends are like drunk and they can't go home and they can't drive. I wanted this to be a guest room as well as my own room. So that's why I put a bed in here. Um, so everything on this bed is from Amazon. Um, this is a duvet cover. So I had to get an insert and these are pillowcases. So I also like the um, decorative pillows are also pillowcases. So I had to get inserts to put in those as well. So everything from the sheets, the duvet, the inserts, all of that are all from Amazon and I can link all of those below. This is a full size mattress that is turned horizontally. So I saw a woman in her video do this and I just thought it was so cute. So yeah, it's turned horizontally. Then over here, we have my lamp from my last apartment from at home, um, as well as storage. So I just keep like fanny packs. Um, I think I have some ski goggles in there, some extra bonnets, some hats. All that is going to be in there because I really don't have enough makeup to even fill up that thing. And then on top of it, I have my collection of Apple product cases. I wonder where my AirPod one is. I think it's somewhere in there. But um, yeah. So this is my storage closet. I have a bunch of crap in there. I'm not showing you. Um, there's a ton of stuff in there. Okay, so here's my little bookcase thing from Ikea. Um, I originally wanted the LAC shelf, but they were sold out, so I got this one. But I think this one works perfectly. I put all my favorite silver, black, 
and gray bags as well as shoes on this to showcase so mainly the sparkly ones uh, most of these bags on here are from misguided um fashion nova and pretty little thing so that's what we have over here so we're gonna turn back around over here and you see me in the mirror and we have my plant so this plant is from hobby lobby which i actually think i still have the tag on that but that's fine and this mirror is the same full length mirror that was in my room in my last video so this is from home goods got it for 80 dollars. so i get all my full length mirrors from home goods by the way the plant was a hundred dollars um i think it was on sale though now we're going to get to my um makeup table so if you all watched my last uh haul i mean not haul what am i talking about if you watched my last apartment tour um the furnished one in atlanta i got this made from a guy in atlanta i will try to find him and tag him below um and the makeup table is actually a sofa table so it's not an actual makeup table but i just turned it into one ignore that down there because the movers cracked it and i just didn't want the glass to shatter so i just was being ghetto and wrapped it up the chair is from home goods and then we'll focus on what's on my makeup table so this is from the last apartment someone was throwing this out and i took it um so this is from my last apartment in atlanta um my makeup brushes are supposed to be in, in there however i was not about to wash them for this video so they're all in there so that's what that's for um it's actually a toothbrush holder but i thought it was really cute to use for my makeup brushes then we get over here so this is all my jewelry um my everyday jewelry so i have my my silvers and gold necklaces my watch and then over here i have bracelets and anklets in gold and silver as well as some hoops and then i have my pendants down there so any of these necklaces i can put one of those pendants on there um you know that matches with the color so next over here this is my promo or my pr um clothing rack so i have all the items that i need to promote so as you see it's a lot it's from a couple different companies on here that i have to promote so yeah that's what i use that for um and whenever i get new clothes when i'm done wearing something i'll transfer this to my closet and when i get new clothes i'll hang them up on this rack so ignore the cords down there i just like to watch my laptop and charge my phone while i'm doing my makeup so i needed an extension cord so yeah it looks like a lot of cords are down there i haven't figured out how i want to cover them so yeah now over here i just have my extra chair i have no clue where to put it so yeah now we have let me step back a little we have my um ikea pax closet system so this is completely customizable you can go on ikea pax uh designer and create your own so this is how i decided to design mine with um like the glass shelf a pull out drawer two two glass shelves um i'm sorry two glass drawers and two regular drawers um, as well as a clothing rack at the top. So I put all my favorite black dresses and blazers and leather jackets up there. And then these purses I really didn't know what to do with. Um, so I just kept them right here so they really don't match with the vibe. But these are just some new bags that I got. So basically all of this, I am going to add a whole nother closet system right next to it to take up the whole wall. But um i'm going to say that for another video so i'm not going to go into each drawer and tell you what's in each drawer however i will show you the little pull out which is this which is so cute so you see i have some extra bags sunglasses a belt um gloves and earmuffs so yeah i'm gonna go through all this once i do my redesign of my pack system so now let's take it into the guest bathroom so now we are in the guest bathroom so hi there we are going to go ahead and start right here so i got this guest towel from um amazon i mean home goods and the 
print canvas is from Amazon. This little ball here is from Home Goods. And then I got the soap pump um, from Macy's. So I wanted it to look like this one, which is Calvin Klein, and I think I got that from Wayfair. However, they were sold out of the soap pump. They had the whole collection and no soap pump. So yeah, I had to get one that was kind of sort of like it. So I got this one, and the hand sanitizer is just from Target. Not that important. Under here, I have a bunch of different um, toiletries for my guests for when they come. So I have like toothpaste and deodorant and all that stuff um, under here so next over here is this really cute little idea I came up with I never want my guests to need anything while they're here so I had these so these are bath bombs makeup wipes um, cotton balls and cotton swabs so um, and then up here it's just any towel. So we have hand towels, face towels, and then, you know, the body towels. So down here, we have a plant, which is from Home Goods, as well as some poopery and a eucalyptus mint candle. So over here, you know, that's to clean the toilet. And then that is the matching trash can to that. So that's like if uh, when people come and they want to put their toothbrushes or something in, like if they're staying, that's what that's for. So this is the matching um, trash can. Both of these black rugs are from Amazon. You see, I had to like bend this one because this one was kind of big. Um, whatever, it ain't a big deal. <laughs> so now, and as you see, they have a pretty nice, view while they're on the toilet i wish i had this view um so this is the shower curtain and the little shower hooks are from amazon so if you see them close up they're little diamond ones they're absolutely adorable love these so inside the shower i have this super cute these are so cute so I got these from Amazon, so again, they never need anything. I have the shampoo, the shower gel, and the conditioner um, in here, just like a hotel. So yeah, they got a little view of a parking lot, but yeah, so now we are going to go into almost my favorite part. Okay, so here we are. So this room in here is just my laundry room. So, this is my laundry room. Yes, there is a fan right there, and you will see why there's a fan right there. I had no clue where to put it. This was like the biggest room it could go in. So, it's in here and just have my laundry stuff. I really don't put anything up there because it's so fucking high. I'm like, why did they put that that high? So, yeah. Now we're gonna turn this way. This is my mirror from the last apartment. This is from Home Goods. Um, yeah, it's really cute. I think it was like going on $100. So now this is my shoe rack. So these are just my everyday shoes. You see my little blinged out shoes and I love slides. So all you see on here are slides. Some people use shoe racks for their guests. I really don't care if my guests wear their shoes in my apartment, so this is for me. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and go into the kitchen. So this is just the overview of the kitchen. And let's start at the trash can. So this is a fancy schmancy trash can from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the simple human trash can. You can get this trash can in the one that's automatic that you can talk to and the lid will lift up. Um, and that's just my camera charger. So we'll start over here first and then work our way around. Starting on the floor, my rugs are from Amazon. Okay, so over here we have my little uh, wine refrigerator. So I have beers in here. I have like Red Bulls, White Claw. Um, and then I have some wine down at the bottom. I, I need to get a couple more wine bottles to just fill this thing up. I don't really drink beer or White Claw like that. White Claw was all right, but this is more for entertaining. So onto this, this is my pantry. 
not going to show you that. I do want to save that for another video. So these are my cookie jars. Everyone loves these cookie jars because they are just like Khloe Kardashian's cookie jars. However, these ones have a hump at the bottom. So they make the cookies go outward instead of just sitting up. Um, so I do have chocolate chip cookies and Oreos in here. I got these two jars from at home. Um, so again, if you want to do these, you need to get a jar that has a flat bottom in order for it to give the illusion like Khloe Kardashian did it. So this is my sink. I got these really cute soap pumps from um, Home Goods. They came together. So one has hand soap and the other one has dish soap in it. So that's that. Then this is my dishwasher. This is the best dishwasher I've ever had in my life. And I've had a lot of dishwashers. All right. So this is so cute. And I know you all are probably like, there's a knife missing. Yes. There is, and I have no clue where it is. I literally lost it maybe a week ago, and I'm like, how does somebody lose a knife? So I'm trying to replace the knife. So just imagine another knife being right here, <laughs> but this is from Amazon. Over here, I had to unplug her because she was going to respond because that's what she does, but I have my Alexa, and then I have my coffee station. So this is my Keurig. I have my coffee mugs um my main coffee mugs and then i have different syrups as well as caramel because i like to put it on top of my iced coffee when i make iced coffee then in here just show you a little bit of them i just have like cinnabon coffee and some dark roast i really don't drink i like the cinnabon one i don't really drink the dark roast that is for company Next, we have what everybody in their life needs, which is an air fryer. I got my air fryer from Home Goods. Oh, and I'm not telling, I got this drawer from Home Goods. No, I'd be lying, y'all. I got this from Amazon, the Keurig from Bed Bath and Beyond, and the coffee mugs. Um, the four of them came in a pack from Ross, and um, the main one came from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. So now we are at the stove. So this stove is amazing. Like I showed you all last time, this stove is a smart stove. So it is touch screen. You can click on it. You can do different things with it. If this will focus, you can do different things with it. Bake, you know, um, use assisted cooking. Um, it's really cool. So it's awesome. Um, and this, you know, it's crazy, y'all. That's how you know I never had fancy shit. Because this, I did not know you can cook in the middle of it. So, yeah. So, this is super nice. Um, then I have my uh, paper towel holder. And that is from Home Goods. So, here's my refrigerator. Y'all, why did this just turn on today? So, this basically means the water filter needs to be changed. So, have to get maintenance in here. To change that so that is my refrigerator i do feel like i told you all in the last one that they could have gotten your refrigerator with a drawer at the bottom as expensive as these damn apartments are but whatever not gonna go through these drawers but going to go ahead and go over here so this is my little setup that i created so i have my two chairs from my last apartment which i got off facebook marketplace but you can get them off amazon and this is my placemat setting so these are from sorry had to get it focused um these are from home goods the placemats are from home goods and then the two plates you can get them separately um they are from bed bath and beyond the napkin ring is from Z Gallery, and then the napkin itself is from some wedding store online, which I can definitely link in my bio. I mean, not my bio, link in my description. So, these are fake roses. They're called Real Looking Roses. They are from Amazon, and these two vases are from At Home. These ones are from Home Goods. These two are from um hobby lobby and then this is just the watermelon lemonade candle from bath and body works sitting on top of a hobby lobby candle holder so this is the whole kitchen and yeah 
that is my kitchen so we're gonna go on to the office okay so here is my office this is gonna be a dining room and then they broke the glass top to my dining room table and i said fuck it i don't want one anymore so i made this into a little office um so first we're gonna start over here this is just all my um camera stuff my lighting i have one more light that i've just never put up so that's just what I use to take my pictures. So I have my vlogging camera and then I also have my picture camera down there. So before I start on everything on the desk, I'm gonna tell about mostly everybody's favorite thing when they come in my apartment, which is my grass wall. My grass wall is from Amazon. I put this up myself. It took 25 pieces. Um, in the box to fill this wall even though there's still a slight space over here but ain't nobody gonna look at that so um the boxes come with 12 pieces in each so i got two boxes which equal 24 so i had to get one more piece uh i had to buy a six piece box to fit fill in that one more piece and that was annoying so yeah i cut out all the little things for the plugs and the the light so that's that so now we're gonna get over to my desk so my chairs are from amazon and the pillows on top of it are from at home and the rug is from amazon the desk is from wayfair and ignore the little makeup spot on my um laptop cover so let's start over here so this is just a picture of me and my brother um I think this one is from Home Goods. This lamp is kind of old. It's from, I think, Ross. And that's just my camera. This um, office supplies was from Amazon. It wasn't on Prime, so it took some time to actually get to me. But um, it's super cute. So this is from Amazon. The frame is from Home Goods. This is my bear from graduation, and these little goblets are from Home Goods. The case is the case I had last time, and that one is from Amazon. Then I have my chair. So my chair is from Wayfair. And then we have these plants. So these little, um, these are from my last apartment. The vases are from Ross. And then the little white leaves that are inside of them, um, stems, they are from Z Gallery. And the little sparkly one behind it, um, those are from Home Goods. Then I got these curtains. The curtain rod is from Home Goods, and it was way longer and it had stuff at the end of it, but it just couldn't fit. So I just left it off. But these curtains are um, from Amazon, and they're like the really long curtains that, for the most part, hit my floor. So yes, um, that is all for my office. Well, actually, let me show you over here. So I also over here, I have my planner um, and then a iPad. And then on this other side, this is where I keep my mail. So I didn't want it out, so I just put it back there. So that's where I have all my mail. Okay, before I take you out to the patio, I'm going to show you all my bar cart so this is my bar cart this bar cart is from amazon and so it has you know my ciroc my crown royal casa amigos hennessy don julio 1800 all that on here as well as some wine bottle stoppers a mini crown royal somebody gave that to me um the little shaker some martini glasses and some shot glasses i do have more um shot glasses but um they're up in the cabinet down here i have some wine glasses um i have some mixers um and two more over there and then back here i have my hookah and there's my bar book and then i have all my games so this is really everything for entertaining so i have my playing cards uh, for the girls, Uno, Tipsy Tower, which is like Jenga. And then back there is a little baggie full of tips for the hookah and coal and things of that sort. So all the things that I need for the hookah. So yes, that is my bar cart. So I'm going to take you all outside, I guess, before I show you all the living room. So 
This is my patio. So, starting off on my patio, um, this is my the little table that it came with. So everything couldn't fit how I wanted it to, so I just had to put this little table over here. I got the lantern that's on top of it from Home Goods and these little plants that are next to it from Michaels, as well as this bigger plant back there that is also from Michaels. So let's go out here. So the grass um, is from my last apartment and that is from at home. And then this patio set is from Wayfair. Um, it did not come with any of the pillows, but you know it's crazy? There's supposed to be another pillow right there and I had to mess with it because Houston had been storming for two weeks and apparently at some point it flew off the balcony. I think it went under there and flew off the balcony. So now I'm missing a pillow, but whatever, we made it work. That plant back there is still from Michaels as well as the same plant as over here. So the green pillows are from um, Home Goods and the black and white pillows are from At Home. So yes. So here is a little view. This is my little view. So let's go in and show you all everyone's favorite part. Okay, now we are inside and we are in the living room. So I'm going to give you all just a complete view of the living room. So, yes, this is the living room. I'm sorry, the, my lights were like, the lights look like they're blinking, but they're not. It's so weird. It just was, it threw me off. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into what's in my living room. So we're gonna start off with this really pretty chandelier. I'm gonna get close up to it. This is my chandelier, so that is why my fan is in the laundry room. This chandelier is from Amazon. So I think it was maybe like 200 or so. So you can get the ones with two rings, three rings, four rings, but be mindful that if I got this any lower, um, like any more rings on it, it would have blocked my TV. You can also move this any way you want to. So it can be just straight down or it can be kind of X'd out like mine is. You can do it however you want to. So, all right. So now we have my couches. So everyone, um, before really seeing my couches, they think it's a sectional. No, these are two full-size sofas. My mom told me at first I should have got a sofa and a love seat, but I'm glad I didn't because this looks so much better. So I got two of these beautiful green, emerald green sofas from Wayfair. Um, so this rug that so many people ask about as well, this is from Rugs USA, so it looks marble. It just was so cute. Definitely went with my feel. This is my last coffee table. So it's from a um, furniture store in Atlanta. So I can see if I can just find it so you all can buy it somewhere else. But that's where I got it from. So the picture on my coffee table um, is of me and my cousins and my grandma who passed away. Um, so that frame is from Home Goods, and the, the two coffee table books, the Chanel one and the Elements of Style book, is from Amazon. Then I have this emerald Amazon candle from uh, Target, and what it's sitting on is from Hobby Lobby. And then these are from my last apartment, so um, I really don't remember where these vases are from. I'm gonna say it's either Home Goods, Ross, or Marshalls. And I don't know what's going on with this flower, but it's driving me nuts. Okay. All right, whatever. Um, these flowers are from the dollar store. So, yeah. As you can see, you can see my patio straight out there. So, it's vibes. And I also am going to show you all a couple clips of how it looks at night, too, because it's a definite vibe at night. So, here's just a quick clip of how it looks dark. So this is how my living room looks. I'm showing you all how the fireplace looks. So you can change this to blue, uh, I mean, well, purple, blue, whatever this is, 
or orange or you can mix them i always choose to mix them because of how close this is to the tv i can never turn the heater on but it's fine because i just got it for the vibe so yeah here it is this is how my view looks it's really pretty so this is how my patio looks at night i have the led lights down here they're color changing and then this is how it looks i don't know why the toyota is not lit up but it just says center but um this is how it looks so then we come over here and this is my mirror so my mirror is from um home goods um, like I said, all my fullness mirrors are from Home Goods. Um, this one was also $80 because it was cracked kind of at the bottom. And then we'll go over here. So guys, just tell me how I would hide my cords because I just feel like I'm going to have to take everything, everything down in order to hide my cords. So they're just kind of showing right now, but get over it. <laughs> so... The TV is a Hisense Roku TV. It's not nothing super fancy. I don't really care. It's uh, 50 inch. And then I have my fireplace, which I'm going to show you all how cool it looks at tonight. This is from Wayfair. This one is from a furniture store in Atlanta. Um, this little whatever you want to call this. So then over here, I have my degree. My I love CAU Bear because that's where I went. I got my awards for being top in sales when I had a job. And then this little baby is from Home Goods. Then over here, I just have all my remotes sitting on my cable box. I'm going to give you all one last overview of the living room. And yeah, guys, that is all for the living room. Okay, so I almost forgot about this area. So over here, this is just my things to do little board that I got from Home Goods. I don't have anything on here because I haven't really assessed what I want to do this week. So yeah, that's that. But in here is my half bath. So here it is. Let me go ahead and turn on the lights. Okay. So if y'all remember these paintings from my last apartment that went over my couch, these are from Oliver Gal. I had no clue where to put them in. As you all saw, I recently got them, so I was not giving them away. So I have these. And then I have this rug to match, which is from Amazon. This doesn't really go with the vibe of my apartment, but like I said, I was not throwing them away, so I had to find something to do with them. Um, just this little towel to dry your hands off with, as well as this... Um, little soap pump holder this is from home goods and i have this other hand sanitizer and then over the toilet we have um this this is really just for decoration i don't know what's in there um we have a poopery this is from amazon um it just goes over your kleenex box and then these are some butt wipes because you know i need my guests to have fresh butts you know um, over here, toilet bowl cleaner and a trash can. So that is all for my half bath. So yeah, as you see, there is no, no, um, shower in there because it's a half bath. Okay, so let's go into my room. So here's my room. Funny story. This was gray. And I washed it with bleach and it turned pink. But it's fine. We're going to roll with it. So we're going to start off here. Everyone loves this. This is my chandelier. Um, so I replaced two fans. The other one is in my storage closet in the guest room. Um, but this is from Wayfair. So um, I'll show you how it looks turned on. So yeah, that's how it looks. It comes with the remote control. So you can change the speed and turn the light on and off. Um, I think this was like 300 something dollars, so it's a little pricey. I also got my bed from Wayfair. So what's on my bed? Um, so this is a duvet cover. This is the Rita Ora collection. This was also pricey, which also still kind of upsets me that I ruined it because it was gray and it was really cute, but whatever. The two pillows um, behind are from Amazon. And they were just the um, 
the pillowcase they weren't they didn't have an insert so i had to get the inserts off of amazon too the two in front are from at home and then this one is also from amazon and i had to get an insert to go into it so i have this which is my throw blanket and this um is from ross so yeah um, these are from my last apartment. So these are just my DIY um, Ikea rast chest that I made mirrored. Um, so there's a ton of videos on how to make these. I can link them below. Um, but I've had these from my last apartment. I am going to change them out soon because they are getting dingy. Um, so I got these lamps. Let me fix this because it's going to bother me. There we go. Okay, so I got these lamps these matching lamps from Ross. This plant is from Home Goods. And then I have my remotes and then this candle from Victoria's Secret. And these two little candle holders are from um, Hobby Lobby. These are from my last apartment as well, these mirrors. These mirrors are from um, at home. Okay, so I got this little stand uh, desk, whatever you want to call it from Amazon. This little thing, uh, I just got an extra of, and I think I got it from at home. The TV is a 40 inch and this is just my little cable box. And then over here we have my, um, mirror. So this is the same mirror. I got lucky to find the same mirror a year later. Um, or two years later, I think. Um, so this is from Home Goods. Like I said, $80. Um, this is a rug from Amazon. And I got these lights to put on them from Amazon so I can show you because they turn on. So there we go. As you see, they turn on. They're super cute. So I wanted to add more to this area. I just really don't know why they put this right here in the first place, but whatever. I was thinking of getting something to kind of cover some of these cords up. So then we have over here, which is my window. I'm not going to add curtains or anything. Um, there's nowhere to put them. That thing's like all the way at the top. And then over here, um, just want to show you all this is my picture with my grandma and then this bear looks a little dingy this was my grandma's bear when she was fighting breast cancer she see she has the little ribbon she used to sing which i'm actually kind of glad she doesn't sing anymore because the song always makes me cry i can't even listen to the song anymore without crying but um yeah i love this little bear so i have you know like i said my grandma passed away in 2011 so this was her bear okay so like i told you all these two paintings I keep saying paintings canvases um that i made these were the other two and they're just in here i actually need to do something about that one because that's like kind of falling down but yeah got these two and let's go ahead and head into my bathroom okay so here is my bathroom give you all a little view so starting first hi guys um, so I have right here. This is a Deanna Nicole towel. Okay. Where can you get these? You ask? You can get them from Bed Bath and Beyond. So they do personalized towels and they're really not that expensive. Um, and then I have these were from my last apartment. So my soap pumps and stuff. I keep some um cotton swabs in there. And those are from Home Goods. And then I'll go over here before I touch on that. Also from Home Goods, um, also from Home Goods. So I just have all my toothbrushes on there. And yeah. So here is my little tray. This is where I have um, all my perfumes. Um, I have a champagne toast candle. And then I have um, like some, what do you call those? Face, whatever. And some <laughs> cotton balls. Comment below if you. <laughs> called fake face pads i don't know i got these fake looking flowers from amazon they're just like those red ones that are in there and then this is from i think it's maybe from marshall's i'm not going to go into any of these drawers because i do want to do an organization 
a video for probably each not each of my rooms but probably the kitchen the bathroom and then my beauty room so I don't want to you know show you all everything this rug is from Amazon and then let's go over here so right here same vase same flowers this was the same thing that was on my um little table in there they're from at home this tray is from home goods that is from ross and these candles are from home goods and then there's some poopery and then i have my toilet bowl cleaner and then my trash can is from target if you all can see it i just didn't want to leave it without a bag but it's really cute without a bag and then i have my robe i have my two um rugs from home goods so then let's go over here so this is my shower um i've never had a shower and a bathtub next to each other so it's really fun <laughs> so yeah like i said this is my shower i have all my shower goodies inside of there and then this is my bathtub so i have two more sets of those vases that are from at home that are also in in my kitchen um and then the fake flowers and then i have some bath bombs sitting up there in a body scrub as well as another champagne toast candle and then i have uh, another set of personalized towels over my bathtub so yep so that is it for the bathroom and lastly we are going to take it to the closet okay so before you saw my closet super super empty and now it is full of clothes so um i have shoes up here um those are all boots and some extra heels over there and then i have um just dresses two-piece outfits some shirts um these are skirts pants jeans um jackets and then over here is just all my long stuff so you guys I, remember i used to have a matchy set of luggage um the last time i traveled to san diego which is a few weeks ago they ripped the fucking wheel off of my big luggage that was this big and now they they replaced it with this ugly black one so now i have to get new matching luggage all over again so yeah that's upsetting i just had to tell y'all because it's upsetting okay <laughs> So here's my little Betsy Johnson travel bag and then over here we have some nude heels another purse some um I'm really into mules right now and uh block heels um so I have these black ones some more black ones um then these are more like the browns and the greens and then some brown um, some black booties down there so yep um other than that this is the rug that was in my living room in my last apartment so i didn't know what to do with it so i just figured out how i put it in here um it's a lot better than walking on a cold floor because then i feel like i can sit on my rug when i'm in here trying to figure out what the hell i'm gonna wear then over here i also have some more shoes these are my um newer ones and then i have some sandals over there also under here i have some workout shoes okay okay so we are all complete let me know if you all want me to do an amenities tour i would try to tag every single thing that i got below um i shot this on my phone because the lighting was a thousand times better on my phone than it was on the camera the camera it was showing up so dark so i did my phone so hopefully the quality is okay but it is a 12 pro y'all so it better be uh, <laughs> but thank you all so much for being patient and waiting for this um and i hope you all love my apartment i worked so hard on it like i said let me know if you would like an amenities tour because i do have some dope ass amenities in this high rise so thank you all for watching bye